Hello, my name is Ben Woolbank. I'm a BIM Strategy and Partnerships Manager at Trimble. Today, we're at Hinky Point at the new C Reactor. Nothing quite prepares you for the scale of this project. This is just huge, you know, bits of rebar which are 40 mil thick, so you can't move something that's gone in place. A crane which is assembled by two cranes, which in their turn are assembled by two cranes. Over a million cubic meters of concrete poured so far. The scale and the complexity is unbelievable. It's complex, it's enormous. And we've been granted access today to the site and to some of the key players. Hi, I'm Andrew Jackson. I'm Technical Director and Nuclear Quality Lead, working for Bylaw here building Hinkley Point C. Uh, and for my sins, I've been here for eight years so far and still loving it. Right at the beginning of the project, we reviewed how best to design and detail such an incredible range of complex structures that we have to build. Um, and having looked at lots of different options, um, we decided um, the project working together between the contractor and the designers and the client um, to do that work using Tecla. So that means that all of the concrete and the reinforcement on the structure, uh, across all our structures are designed in Tecla. Uh, and that's, that's the beginning of the process from doing that design. And we follow that all the way through um, from design in the design office, reviewing that design, making sure that it's what we need to be able to build it right out to using the design here on site to get it built and producing the records of what it is that we have built. The project has used Tecla to design everything that we do here on the project. Um, and one of the things that's mind blowing about Hinkley is the range of scale. We, we use the same detailing approach from a one cubic meter pour in the corner of a building um, to the UK's two largest ever onshore continuous concrete pours. So we broke that record once um, just behind me here on unit one. Um, doing a pour over several days where we had to continue pouring concrete constantly in amongst all that rebar that had been coordinated and detailed in Tecla. And then when we came to build exactly the same thing a year later, we somehow found a way to squeeze a few more cubic meters in to break our own record again. Probably the two main factors for us of using that digital design and detailing process um, are one, being able to really clearly visualize and see what it is that we have to do. We find, especially as a construction team working with the designers, it means that, that we, the construction team, can better understand some of the designers' really complicated needs by spinning around that 3D model and looking inside. And at the same time, they can perhaps understand some of our construction requirements and can really see actually how maybe that detail is going to be very difficult to build and maybe it'd be better to do that instead. The other key factor of the software is coordination and being able to join together all the different complex bits of the design and be sure that they work together. So that's everything from the, the structural design, the reinforcement. Um, sometimes as, the, as the, the civil builders, we have to remind ourselves that we're just a small cog in the massive machine that is a nuclear power plant. So one of the main factors for that civil design is coordinating it with all the other parts. And it's only by looking in that 3D model that we can, we can see how it all fits together. I sometimes tell a story about how on other nuclear power stations, when they've had problems building things, it's because the bits haven't fitted together. And, and often there might have been one designer doing, designing the reinforcement on one set of 2D drawings and a completely separate designer designing the embedded parts on a different set of 2D drawings. And the first time those 2D drawings would be introduced to each other is in the left hand and the right hand of the guy stood on site that has to make it fit. Um, for us, by using the digital models, whether it's the civil design that's been produced in Tecla uh, or the other designs that have been produced on other platforms, we can put them together beforehand to be sure that out in the field, when we get to that point, everything's gonna fit out of the box. So when we were deciding what software platforms to use early on in the project, we were really conscious that we were making a decision that we were going to have to live with for a very long time. Uh, we chose early on to use IFC, and that's really proven to give us great flexibility to adapt as the industry adapts around us and as we develop. So that means that we can, we can get the design done in Tecla for the civil work, 
but also work with design from other platforms as well. We can bring together in the IFC format all that different design uh, and then we can use that design out on site, typically using Trimble Connect to be able to see how all the different bits fit together and really visualize clearly how that works. And we've seen as we've progressed over time, um, the, the platforms have developed as well, but especially by working with IFC, we've been able to harness the benefits of the different developments in different platforms and take that on board as we continue to improve. Uh, it also gives us a great degree of control. Working in the nuclear industry, it's really important that we we take exactly the information we're given and can show really clearly that we are using that same information. And by working with IFC, where the information is issued and frozen and controlled and we can tell who's made it, we can demonstrate that degree of control that we need to, to deliver nuclear quality. So working on such a big project, um, we work with lots of different companies um, and, uh, and all of those companies are involved in digital modelling one way or another. Um, and for us, that's everything from the nuclear designers designing the reinforced concrete all the way through to um, we're pushing the boundaries of how we do temporary works design in 3D model. Some of the things that maybe traditionally might be seen as quite basic, but with such a complex set of works to build, we have to plan it and coordinate it together with our works. So there's a whole range of different stakeholders. Um, and at the middle of that, we've had a, a long standing relationship uh, with Trimble and Tecla to be able to use their range of different platforms. And we've seen developments in some of those platforms, including things that we've asked for. Um, we've worked together with the team to be able to, um, to, be able to find new ways to go to work better.